So we left off at here receiving a check from um, Katie's Coffee Corner. All right, what happened next? Uh, we received coffee mugs. Okay. From from Law Friends Ceramic for invoice uh, 162. All Katie's right. Ceramic mugs, a uh, 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 total of uh, 198.40. Perfect. Plus hundred dollars uh, delivery charge. Terms okay. Terms are one uh, percent uh, net thirty. Okay. Or 10, 10 30, I'm sorry. So we want to first go do our purchase order. Yes, per uh, yes, go do purchase orders. And all things coffee or, or uh, Atlas coffee. Uh, nope, it's all things ceramics because we bought coffee mugs. So let's go look in our where we have coffee mugs. Okay, uh, uh, 180, uh, 80, uh, 90, uh, yeah, it's the last, the last thing, yeah. Perfect. So we got, uh, invoice 162. Okay. Okay, uh, we want to, uh, update our, uh, inventory. Um, let's journalize this first before we go into inventory. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mugs? No. What kind of inventory is ceramic coffee mugs? Oh, periodic, isn't it? Periodic, good. Mm -hmm. So how do you journalize this? That's an expense. Mm-hmm. So it's purchase expense. Purchase expense, good. Mm-hmm. Purchase expense. Oops. The lead keeps breaking in this pencil. Mm, no worries. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had to get a new one on break. Yeah, I, I like these uh, pencils, but they break so easily. Yes. Um, what, so what's your account that you're saying? Are you, you're adding detail to the account? No, I've got purchase expense, um, and so, I mean, we, we got to the delivery. Mm, are we delivering? No, delivery. it's a delivery. No. Okay, so what is that called? Freight. Freight. Good. Freight expense. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. There is freight expense on there. Delivery charge. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. GST expense. Expense and then we have... Oh, then we uh, uh, have... Uh, so accounts delivery. payable. Good. We're not. Did, we're, it doesn't indicate that we're paying it now. We're paying it later. So we're gonna owe money. Okay. And this is, um, and then the terms. Uh, is so to all things ceramics. Invoice number one sixty two. Uh, what is it? One percent? So one percent, ten, net thirty. Okay. All right. What are my accounts? Okay. Purchase expense. Purchase expense sixty one hundred. And freight expenses uh, sixty three hundred. Uh, 
thousand, right? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, thousand. Yeah. Six zero three zero zero. And then uh, 20, 20, twenty thousand. Yeah, we we got that one memorized. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. So sometimes. Uh, yeah. And we got the uh, uh, rate, uh, which is 100. Right, is 100. What is what is the um, the purchase expense? 198.40. So therefore, our total accounts payable is going to be what? 298.40. Good. All right. Now what? Okay, we got to uh, go to ledger. Mm -hmm. So purchase uh, 6, uh, is on uh, page uh, 38. Uh, page 38. Now that's for 80 mugs. And uh, that's journal 13. That's for uh, 198.40. 40. Okay, we got uh, three, 22.80 plus 40. Well, so 590 cents? Yep. 591.20. Uh, great expense. Which will be on uh, page 35. Four, journal 13, and now uh, running balance of 300. Okay. And then we want to uh, do the account receivable. Uh, not receivable. Payable. I'm oh, sorry, payable. Payable. 2000. Accounts payable to uh, thousand six four eight three invoice number uh, one sixty two and that's uh one ninety or two ninety eight two ninety eight forty that's a credit balance for the uh, $4,000. I did not get that number. Four two one five point eighty six plus mm. two ninety eight point mm -hmm. forty uh, forty five fourteen twenty six. Good. Is right. that what I said before? No, you said something completely different. All right. It's a guy thing. How's that? Well, what's last one now? Okay. Uh, inventory. Not inventory. There's one more before it. Okay. Subsidiary. Yes. We need to make sure what that we... 
At least I got the toy right. <laughs> we need to make sure that we update our inventory. Uh, uh, running balance of uh, uh, side uh, uh, payable is uh, 78136. Okay, so remember, you don't add, you don't add, this is not a running balance in this column. Okay, but the very, the, in the gray, yes, that's a running balance. This is just adding up the total for that column, for that row, um, for that row. Okay. Okay, did you tell me, did you tell me what the due date is? No, I didn't. Uh, uh, uh. July 24th. Uh, yeah, yeah, July 24th. Good. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, now we want to update the uh, inventory. Yes. Yes, sir. Under, under, ceramic. under ceramic coffee mugs. Yes. We got 624. Okay. 624. And uh, what is it? Uh, 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 two dollars and forty-eight cents for each one. Okay. Two nine eight forty. Hold on, David. You're you're going way too fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Andrea, are you yeah. caught up? I caught up with you. I just caught up with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my, my lead keeps breaking on these stupid uh, um, mechanical pencils that I've got. Uh, <laughs> I had to put more oh, lead yes. in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I just got a new one, you know, during break. Yeah, so. these are relatively new, but they keep, I write a lot, lot, and they just keep breaking, and now I had to put a new uh, piece of lead in it. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of what we are doing. That's fine. Just making sure that you caught up because uh, yeah. David, David was go, was blazing through, so I was trying to catch up what he was trying to say. Yeah, he wasn't going fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very fast. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. No. no worries. It's okay. You're That's good that you do fast, but again, I'm typing everything and Andrew's writing everything as well, and then I, I don't know what Lee is using. I don't know if she's using Excel or not. <laughs> No, I gave that up for a while. Okay, and then I, I'm yeah. Just following what everybody else is following. Okay, perfect. And then, yes, and I don't know how Jabrea is following along either, because um, I know she doesn't have Excel, so 
I don't know how everyone else is following along, but just making sure that, um, you know, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What it boils down to is I need to slow down. Okay. No, no, as long as you can calculate it beforehand, you're doing great. Just just let me make sure I can type everything in before you move on to the next part. <laughs> okay, so um, next part goes, let's see what happened. 624. Uh, they returned five broken ceramic uh, coffee mugs uh, for full credit. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Using the invoice uh, 162C. Okay, so we gotta make a correction now. So, what happened here? Uh, 24th. Sales uh, return. Not sales. We didn't sell it. Purchase, purchase return. All right. Debits or credit? Debit. No, it should be credit side. It would be credit side. Yes, because we originally made our purchase expense was a debit. We're trying to take away from our purchases, so we need to make a credit. Mm -hmm. So in when when uh, we're doing this um, purchase returns allowances, what are we getting back? Money. Okay. Money. How are we getting the money back? Well, the... Uh, Accounts receive uh, accounts payable. Yes, we're decreasing the amount that we owe. We never paid them yet, but we're going to tell them, hey, you know what? Credit it on my bill. So that means I pay. I I don't have to pay you more. I pay you less. So accounts pay payable. Good. And then I'm going to indicate here, returned. Returned for broken mugs. For full oh, five, right? refund. Whoa, what happened? May five, right? Uh, Are we returning five or four? Five. Five, thank you. Okay. Four. Five, not four. Yeah, that's right, it's five. I put, I put four too. Okay. We're just returning the balance. Okay. Should we know the invoice 162C? Yes, that's a good one, yes. Comma, invoice number 162C. Okay, good. My PR numbers. 20000 and uh, 61500 Perfect. 61500 okay. All right. Yes. Do we know how much uh, we're returning yet? Uh, not, not until we go to the inventory sheet. Not until we go to the inventory sheet. Good job. Oopsie, sorry, excuse me. Okay, inventory sheet, all right? We're going to return five. We're going to return five. Two point four eight. Seven, For, yeah, $2.48 cents because we want to make the assumption. We just received the inventory, right? And, we're, and we know which one to go from, from invoice number 162. So that's the one that we just received. Yes. So, yes. yes. So we're going, because we calculated it right here that it was for $2.48. We're returning it for two dollars and forty eight cents. Good. And uh, times that by five for twelve forty. Perfect. Twelve dollars and forty cents is what we're returning. And then you're going to want to put that in debit twelve forty, and then credit twelve forty. Good. All right. There. Now that we completed our journal, where do we go next? Uh, ledger. Yes. Okay, so liabilities. Um, where? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to do my accounts payable first. So here are my liabilities. 
six, uh, two, four. Invoice one sixty two C. Oh, just a minute. I'm still trying to find the, the forms for the. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Yes, I got it now. Mm -hmm. Journal thirteen. Right? Yeah. 13. What the heck did I write? Mugs of Bulladuch? Okay. And now, uh, uh, control 40. For, yeah, we're uh, decreasing, so 12. 40. Yes. Okay. 4, 5, 1, 4, 1, 2, squared. Minus 12, 40. And running balance of, uh, uh, 4,500. A one dollar? Mm-hmm. And 86 cents. Good job. That's correct. Four five oh one eighty six is correct. Mm -hmm. purchase returns and allowances. Uh, That's going to be uh, under purchase, purchase 38. Yeah, page 38. Six. So purchase discounts, purchase returns and allowances for six twenty four. Credit of twelve point forty. We got nine point one eight four plus two point forty. Running balance at twenty two dollars and twenty four cents. Give me a second and I will let you know. <laughs> twelve dollars and was twelve dollars and forty cents. So therefore yes. running balance is going to be this plus no nope, plus credit. Yeah, plus credit minus your debits gives you a total of twenty two dollars and twenty four cents. Okay. Uh, you got that? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay. And then lastly, where to go next? I'll be uh, uh, subsidiary? Yes, subsidiary. We got to make sure that uh, we make these changes in our subsidiary ledger, right? Yes. For all things ceramic? <sighs> we have return. Oopsies. Return five broken mugs. Okay. Invoice 162C. General journal number 13. And here we're going to put it under returns and allowances. Here. Yes. For twelve dollars and forty, so therefore this should be a negative twelve forty, which means our net our bill is now altogether it's seven hundred and sixty eight. But for this bill specifically, you're gonna have to calculate that on your own. Yes. Okay. All right. Question. Yes. Question. But you said you had a question? Oh, no, I said bless you. I oh, you no, 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 I didn't sneeze. Okay. And so we're next we go to our, our journal again for Okay. Page 13. All right, so we deliver to Katie's Coffee Corner. Let me see how much okay. further. Okay. A little hard to read when you're scrolling. I know. I'm sorry. I was just checking to see how much we had left. Okay. So okay. we delivered to Katie's Coffee Corner. Last uh, Date is 24 June. Uh -huh. Turns a 1% tax 
1530. Okay. Delivered the cake to the corner, like you already said. Mm-hmm. Regular coffee, 20 pounds at 65.80. Supreme coffee, 15 pounds at uh, 59.85. Uh, Ceramic mugs, 22 of them for 109.78. Subtotal is 235.3. Delivery charge is $30. Uh, 265.43 and total amount is uh, uh, 250, uh, 265.43 perfect so what are we going to journalize here how are we going to journalize this mm-hmm. regular coffee uh, what kind of what kind of regular coffee it's, isn't that it's just Oh, that's why sales. sales. Yes, we need to be specific sales. for sales. Yeah. Yes. How are how are we receiving the money? Uh, accounts uh, uh, receivable. Accounts receivable, right? Accounts. We build them; they owe us. Good accounts receivable. Good. All right. Then we can go ahead and initiate our sales. For regular coffee, then we can, it is, we had sales for Supreme, oopsies, Supreme coffee, and then we had sales for the ceramic, oopsies. Coffee bugs. And then lastly, uh, no sales tax, but we have a delivery income. Okay. And then we indicate this right here. Katie's Coffee Corner. Invoice number... 106, comma, 1%. 1530. 15, 30. 15, net 30. Net 30. Okay. What are my accounts? Numbers for account receivables eleven hundred. Oopsies. Yeah, that's right. Eleven thousand. What's my sales for regular coffee? Oh, four zero zero five oh. Um, yeah, four zero zero five oh. Four zero zero five zero. Four zero one zero zero. Four zero one five zero. And. How much, what, which one's delivery charge? 46, 47, 48. 48. All right, what goes where? Accounts receivable is 265.43. Okay. Okay, regular coffee, 65.80. Okay. 59.85 for Supreme. Okay. Coffee mugs, 109.78. Okay. Um, delivery charge, uh, delivery income is $30. Okay, so I got a total of 265 43, which makes it perfect. Yes. Okay. So what next? Uh, the ledger. Yep. Ledger here. What's my first one? Accounts, accounts receivable. Uh-huh. Accounts receivable. I think you guys should be on page. It's six, not page seven. Page four. 
Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, over on the bottom of the page. Accounts three, receivable, uh, right? Yes, accounts receivable. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, page uh, at yeah. the top of fifth page for time on. Uh, I have one more line on page three. Uh, oh, you got yeah. one more line? Yes. That'll be for uh, 265, uh, 43 in debit. Okay, 11. Point 34. Uh, 265.43. 13.60, uh, did, did you got your seventeen cents right, but not the rest? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh eleven hundred. Point seventy four plus two sixty five point forty three. Thirteen sixty six seventeen. Okay. First off, it's 11.08. Oh, it's 11.08. Uh-huh. Wait, point 74. Yeah, 11.08.74. Uh, 65.43. The uh, uh, 13.74. Yes, 13. Yep, yeah, good. Now we got to go to sales. Four thousand four hundred fifty. And uh, so that's page uh twenty four. Sales 24. regular, yeah, sales regular copy. Twenty four. Uh, credit uh, 65 at 80. And that's uh, 508. Uh, 575. Uh, I don't know if there was. Um, a number I skipped. I got five, five, nine, thirty. Five, five, nine, thirty is correct. Yeah, five, 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 two, nine, thirty. Okay, uh, five, nine, nine, thirty. And then the oh, next page, okay. page 25, yeah. Yes, page 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, page 25 at the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got uh, 59. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, new running balance, uh, uh, 568.50. 568.50 is correct. Good. 568.50. Yeah. 568.50. Okay. And next is... Three, uh, oh, one oh nine seventy eight. Seven fifty seventy two. Seven fifty seventy two is correct. 
And then lastly is going to be delivery income, which should be at the very bottom of this. Sales discount, delivery income. Which this should be easy. Hundred and fifty. Yeah. Hundred and fifty. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Now, what's the la what's the last step you have to do? Inventory. No. No cost to be sold. Nope, not yet. Wait, wait. Andrea, what did you say? Subsidiary. Subsidiary. We need to update Katie, right? We need to make sure that we bill her. So Katie is what? She's our customer. Okay, so here. Okay. She has a discount this time for 1% 15 net 30. Meaning if she pays in 15 days from now, what is that? Uh, 15, uh, the 4th, 7-4? Nope. In 15 days from now. Twenty fourth. Yeah. Thirty nine. 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 Good. July nine. She'll get. She'll receive a discount. It is for invoice number one oh six. General journal number thirteen. And then here, the due. What is the actual due date? July 24. 24. Good. Okay. And then what was it for the total sales for? 265.43. 43. Good. So now she owes us 265.43. Okay, if you look at our track record, she paid for half the thing, that she paid for the remaining, she made a return, and then now she's at our new balance of $265.43. Yes. All right, what's next? Inventory. No, not yet. There's one more thing that we need to make sure. Um, commission, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Right. We need to make sure we pay, Mr. Uh, he needs a paycheck. He needs a paycheck, yes. Okay, so... As of the twenty third, remember how we he he sum, uh, he submitted his um his his sales right. So that means yes. we owe him one forty eighteen as 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 of June twenty third. Okay, so now we have to start a new running balance. Okay. Okay, maybe I should have indicated this right here. But it's okay. I put it on the side that this is his new, this is his new um, running balance date. Okay. I'm sorry. This is his. This is the date that he leaves off of. So we're starting with a new running balance. So what is ten percent of twenty six dollars and forty three cents, or and thirty four cents? Fifty. Right. No, twenty six. Uh huh.
54. 54 cents, yes. Yeah. So $26.54 is his brand new start for the pay period. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can right. I ask a question? Yes. I'm, I'm sure this is real stupid. I just can't get my brain to work. But the corner bookstore above, uh -huh. well, why is it like hanging like that? You know, with. Like, oh, because that, that end of the month then. Okay, wait a minute, because it hasn't been delivered. Yes. Yes. It okay. hasn't been filled yet, right? Is that why it, uh -huh. it is? It has not been delivered yet, and it has not been so this, this is a real this is typically really what happens in in business right sometimes things are just easy to grab right you start shipping things and you might end up shipping things that come first or you might ship things that actually came in last so this is very typical of a business so it's just like it's just like when you go order a drink right there's like 20 people in the and there's 20 people in the room. You're taking all the orders and all of a sudden you see all these people who stood behind you, who ordered behind you, they get their drink first. Yep. This is it. Doesn't Perfect example. Sense. Yes. Okay. Doesn't make sense. Yes. So we delivered basically just a notation that there is that order. Yes, yes. But this is also for us to keep track of that. Oh shoot, don't forget to order don't forget to send that um order to um corner bookstore. Okay. Yeah, okay. I okay. So okay, now what's next? Inventory. Yes, we need to uh we need to calculate the cost of goods sold. Okay, so let's look at our um, example here. So I sold 20 pounds of regular coffee and 10 and 15 pounds of Supreme coffee. Supreme yeah. coffee is not very popular. No, <laughs> okay. So regular coffee, six, um, 24. All right. We sold 20 pounds. And that's uh, 20 pounds at uh, uh, 1.6152. And then uh, 1.6152. Uh, if you extended your line out longer, it should be 3231. Oh, okay. Uh, 82 and a half, minus 20, 52.5, 5, and we got, uh, uh, 1, 83, 195. Good. And we want to divide that by uh, 62.50 mm -hmm. for uh, 60, uh, 1. 1. 1.6152. Good. So now we're going uh, to Supreme Coffee. We're on the third bat. Uh huh. Third bat, so that's uh, still one, uh, one, oh, one point eight four. Good. Five, uh, one point eight four, twenty seven sixty. What did you get? What did you get? 2760. 20, okay. 99.50 minus 
84. 84. 50. Fifty six, thirty two. Uh, do that again. Okay, we've got uh, eighty four point five times one point eight four, one fifty five uh, forty eight. One fifty five forty eight, yes. Okay, so we got a 2760 here and a 3231 for regular coffee. Okay, so here we have plenty of space to put this in here. So 624, what, do, what am I journalizing? Uh, cost of goods uh, sold. Good. A regular. And then uh, cost of goods sold supreme. Mm -hmm. Regular. Supreme. Uh, Fifty. Five hundred. 50, 500, or 50, 100, and 12, oh, 20, 12, oh, 40. And cost of goods, uh, uh, regular, and regular is, uh, 32, uh, 31. Yes. And, uh, uh, 16, uh, -huh. 760. Good. And those are both in the debit side, and you want to go to, uh, just transfer them over to the credit side. Yes. And uh, description uh, uh, at a uh, delivery to Katie's Corner. Okay. What's the invoice? Oh. 106. Invoice 106. Okay. Whatever you want to put in there. It's your description. Uh, uh, we want to go to the general ledger. General ledger. Uh, 5100. Oh. 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh, sorry. Five, 550. Yes. 550. Okay, so ledger. Four. General uh, G13. We're selling $32.31. So cost of goods sold here, six twenty four. dollars We sold how many pounds of coffee? How a uh, regular? $20. Uh, 15. Um, for Supreme, we sold 15 but for regular, we sold 20 Okay. Regular was 20 Okay. Mm -hmm. $32.31. A running balance of uh, uh, uh wait 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 let me catch up with okay. you just a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and calculate that. Uh, Your running balance. Uh the running balance is uh five oh three eighty. 
503.80. Let's see. 503.80 is correct. It's 24. Uh, Supreme Poppy. Under cost of goods sold. Uh huh. Oh, that's 24, you said? What's 24? Yeah. Yes. Oh, page 24. Oh, yes. For you guys, it's yes, page 24. It's just the next page over. Okay, yeah, I got it. So 624. And we sold how much coffee? We sold 15 pounds of the Supreme coffee. Yes. And general journal number 13. And it cost us $27.60, which gives us a running balance of what? $528.02. is correct. You know, by now I had these pages renumbered. Right down. Uh, page seven. Page seven. For, uh, under regular coffee. Mm hmm. Oh, you didn't tell me the running balance. Oh, I thought you did. Oh. Did you? Yeah, yes, you did. Yeah, okay, asset. Okay. So we're going to go under regular coffee. Mm -hmm. Page Large. seven. Yes, page seven. 32. Okay, so here, regular coffee, good. 31. So six, 24. Sold 20 pounds of coffee. Running balance of $195. And then it's like something. Oh, hold up, you're really fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. It's okay. Um, what did you say? One ninety ninety five. Did you add or subtract? Oh wait, one I added. Point. My bad. I four, added. One hundred point ninety five. One. What was it for thirty two thirty one? Yes. Oopsies. Thirty two. Dot thirty one. Oh my gosh, my fingers. It gives you 195, and let's double check that yeah. to our um, inventory worksheet. So regular coffee is 195. Perfect. Good. It matches. And then our um, Supreme should be 155.48. Okay, so let's go ahead. Six twenty four sold fifteen pounds. General journal thirteen for twenty seven sixty. Yep, one fifty five. Perfect, and it matches our inventory 100%. Yay! And my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Okay. So we... Right? Yes, sir. Just give me one second. Let me flash look real quick in advance. Okay. Dang, 24 is so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that just answered that, I have, that we keep going on it. Um. Okay, so it lasts for another two pages. So let's go ahead and just continue. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, let's just go, yeah, continue. So, um... Yeah. Receive from Atlas Coffee Importers. Importers for uh, 355, 125 pounds of regular coffee. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, 139 per pound, a total of 173.75. Okay. 
25 for, for, uh, for supreme coffee, uh, one, uh, 161 per, uh, pounds, the tool 125, will cost a, uh, 375 dollars. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, one, uh, 150, 150, 30. Okay. So where do we go first? Purchase order. Purchase orders, yes. We need to validate that we received our order. Or we need to verify that we received the order. Yes. Uh, uh, so for number 355. Okay. What was the uh, uh, invoice for that? The three fifty five. Three fifty five. Invoice number is three fifty five. Okay. All right. What? Okay. So we need to journalize it for the twenty fourth. So what happened here? Um. Accounts. Accounts payable. Do we, is that a debit or a credit? Oh, wait a minute, it's a credit. Okay, good, credit. I'll jump to the next one for some reason. <laughs> I lean to the credit first. Regular coffee and supreme coffee. Correct, accounts payable. Yes, we're going to do regular coffee first. And oopsies, regular coffee, because this is what kind of inventory? Uh, perpetual. Perpetual, good. Yes. So 12020, 12040, and accounts payable is, and I just realized I'm on the wrong one, 12. 020-12040. Accounts payable is 20000 Okay. How much of the regular coffee did you receive? Uh, uh, one seventy three. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, regular coffee? Uh-huh. And then, uh huh. Two oh. I was looking up with Katie's right above it. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> wrong one. <laughs> and uh, Supreme is two oh one twenty five. Good. Three seventy five. Yep. Three seventy five. So here. We bought this from Atlas Coffee Imports. I'm going to put a broad version there. Invoice number. Oopsie, it's not at. Invoice number uh, 355. 355. Yep. And terms are 1%, 15.30. So 1%. 15, 15 net, net 30. 30. Good. We want to go to uh, a ledger. Good. So page seven. That's for uh, um, debit of one seventy three seventy five. Not three seventy five. That's for accounts payable. Yeah, regular coffee is one seventy three seventy five. Yep. Yes. We want to, uh, 105 for 173, 75, 274, 70. Oops. 
sees. What the heck happened? <laughs> okay, what was it? One, uh, 17375? Yes. Oh, whoa. Um, I meant um, to put it on the debit side. Yeah. I just about to say, yeah, wow. Well, uh, you yeah, recording on the right side? So I got 274 20. Is that what you said, David? Some, uh, 274 70. Yep. Yep, I gotta fix this one too. Because it's 201.25. So now I'm 356.73. Mm -hmm. Three fifty six seventy three. Okay. Okay. So now we gotta go where? Oh, the next uh, accounts. Yep, accounts payable. Accounts payable for six twenty four. Oh, yeah, you guys are on the second sheet, oh. huh? Oh, I didn't get to Supreme yet. Yeah. Oh, we just oh, we definitely do Supreme. Okay. Oh, go, go ahead and do Supreme. So you stay caught up. Okay. 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 Yes, in the debit side. Yes. Wait, it's three seventy five. Yeah, three seventy five. Well, no, uh, she's she's still doing the screen copy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I was looking. I was double checking my own work. Where are we going? We're, now we're going to accounts payable. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. What was what was your what was your running balance? Three fifty six. Yes, I'm good. Now we can go on to accounts payable, which is page seventeen. Huh? It is invoice number 355, uh, 355 right? It, it is 355, right? Yeah. What did I write? Yeah. Invoice number 355. Oh, yeah. You, you have it written, right? Oh, well. oh, you're asking me, is it invoice 355? Oh, yes. It is invoice. Mm -hmm. And we're still, uh, 4501. Six minus three, seven, five, equals 40, uh, 40, uh, 41, say 86. 41? Okay, well, no, I, I subtracted. Okay. Uh, 45, zero, one, uh, 86. Okay. Three, seven, five. Uh, uh, 48, 76, 86. Yes. Okay. Uh, what I did is uh, I subtracted. Yeah, so 40, I so 48, 76, 86. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Where do you need to go now? Uh, subsidiary account? Yes. Subsidiary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's copy. Page three. Page three. Yes, I believe it, yes. Five, so one, three. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess I can't edit this information then. Okay, so 1%. 1%. Comma 
15 comma net 30 okay so what is um what is what is the the discount period if they pay in 15 days. The 9th. The 9th of July. Yes. Okay, 3.55. General Journal 13. When is it fully due? It is due on the... July 24th. Yeah, it's on the 24th. Okay. And uh, for uh, 3.75. Yes. And if you calculated this correct, you owe a lot of money to Atlas. Okay. 1473.75. 1473.75. 73.75. Okay, that's, 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 I figured it out. Yeah, well, 1473 Okay. Now what? Oh. Next, uh, I want inventory. Yes, we gotta do inventory. Oh, is it 25 or 75? 75. 75. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that I wrote 75 and everything. Yes. And we don't know the rate yet. Okay, so up there it says 173.25 instead of... Yes. Okay. okay. And this one's uh two one twenty five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right then. So we stop here because we don't have the freight just yet, and freight's the next portion yeah. in there. So we'll calculate that later. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to spring. Okay, so 161 was per pound. Are we on Supreme now? Supreme, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to update the inventory just yet because we still have to include the freight. The freight, right. Okay. Which is the next portion. I got five good spaces left on my general journal. Uh, uh, would that be enough? Um, I already posted the rest of the journals in um in week yeah. four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, I, I left on this uh, one one page for general thirteen. Uh, before oh, I have to go to the new left? page, right? 
I have five pink, uh, five spaces. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have five spaces left also. You sh that should be plenty enough. Yeah, that should be plenty enough. All right. Okay. Okay, let's see. So then what happened next? Uh, Freightline delivery, uh, 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 delivery copy from Atlas uh, Importers. Mm -hmm. Invoice number uh, six twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. We paid them six uh, sixty-two fifty. Good. So we have to write a check. Good. We have to write a check. So how so do we? Want to go to uh, checking. Check. Okay. 24, uh, for Check. 62. 624. Uh, to Freightline. For how much? 62, 6250? 50. 50. 6250 to Mr. Freightline. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's um. Fifteen twenty-four. Okay. Sure. It's because we had to we 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 had to pay Freightline because right. the delivery charge was COD. Okay. And we want to go back to the general journal and uh, 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 finish this. Okay. So what am I journalizing? Checking. Checking debit or credit. Debit. Are we receiving oh, money? No, no, we're, we're paying. We're paying. Okay, so, uh, 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 all right. Uh, I want to say delivery. Uh, uh, Are we delivering? No. And so we're uh, charging freight. Okay, what kind of freight is this because we're doing um, perpetual inventory? It's freight expense. Not freight expense. It goes right into our inventory, so it has to yes. be... Oh, right. That's, yeah. Yes, everything goes straight into inventory, so we need to journalize straight into inventory. So we're going okay. to indicate regular coffee. Regular mm -hmm. and then, uh, supreme coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will be tested on this, guys. So make sure that you know this, the difference between perpetual inventory and periodic inventory, okay? Everything's going to go into inventory. In this case, we know exactly what kind of inventory this is. And we know because it says right here, they delivered from for Atlas Coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what is that? 12020, 1240. Uh, checking is 1000. Description's going to be freight line. Uh, freight line to deliver. Freight line. Um, Invoice. Uh, invoice 628. 628. Um, COD. Check number 1524. Yes. Okay. How is the freight going to be distributed here? 50-50 because it's evenly... Uh, mm -hmm. The weight is even. Perfect. Thirty-one twenty-five each. To get you sixty-two fifty. Good. Okay. Okay, and then we want to go to uh, uh, our ledger. Ledger. Good. Ledger under assets. This should be so regular coffee. Page six. Seven. Page 
Uh, for uh, get it for thirty one twenty five. Mm hmm. General Journal thirteen for uh, thirty one twenty five. See. Running balance of uh, three hundred and five dollars and uh, ninety five cents. Good. Three hundred and five ninety five cents. And General General is on page eight. Mm -hmm. For Supreme Copy. Oops. Six twenty four freight charge. Okay, General Journal thirteen. We reached the end of page thirteen. Four thirty one twenty five. Three, uh, 387 dollars Good. And then scroll all the way to the top because you came out of checking. Yes. Uh, checking is going to be on page two. 624. Um, check. Number, what was that, 1524? Yes. Yeah. For $62.50. Ooh, I got to update my running balance. Oh, dang, I still got a negative number. Thousand uh, uh, one hundred twenty-three dollars and eighty-two cents, right? Yep, on the negative side. Yes, it'll be on the credit side. Okay. Okay. And, uh, now we know uh, our uh, delivery charge. Uh, go back to. Uh, the inventory sheets. Yeah. First, um, first update the subsidiary, like update freight line, okay. and then you could do the okay. inventory. Okay. I want to do the inventory first. Okay. Then you're got you're you're more likely to forget to update the freight line. Right. Yes, I didn't even think about them. Check number was it fifteen twenty four? Fifteen twenty four, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. General journal number thirteen. Uh, oopsies, wrong one. Three fifty five. Was it? Oh, okay. I don't think that was right. It should have been like two something. Or, okay. I don't. Let me let me go ahead and go into my uh, my invoice is number six twenty eight. Wow, I should have changed that number to six twenty eight. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make the change like right now. Six twenty eight. Six twenty eight. Now it's 632. Um, I mean, I'll make the changes as I go, uh, just to make sure um the future class doesn't end up with the same number. <laughs> okay. okay, but no, for you guys, just keep it at six six twenty eight. Two point. Uh, Four six two fifty. So therefore, and you paid six two fifty with your check. So therefore, you should have zero bank balance. Yeah. Okay, now we can go ahead and go into our inventory worksheet and update the information. So here, 
I added 32, 31, 25 to give me a total of what? Okay. Uh, 205? Yes, I got 205. 305.95. Oh, that looks right. Okay, good. Yay. And we want to uh, add, add uh, update our inventory. Mm hmm. Uh, 187. Uh, uh, 187.50. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 302, 34. No. What was your previous? 87. David, remember, you have to calculate the new um, uh, average cost per item. You're not multiplying it. You don't know what that number is. Okay. I just, uh, uh, 100. Good. Now you can solve for that middle number. And we want to divide that. Uh, one, eight, seven, five. Mm -hmm. Give me 163. One point six three one seven. Good. So now, now making that change, we increased um, our cost per item by two cents. We originally had one sixty one. Now it's one sixty three. Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead and update your supreme. Thirty-two fifty. Yes. Okay. And uh, this is a uh, first in first out, so uh, we're not gonna. Uh, we're just gonna take one twenty, one twenty-five over. Two two oh one twenty five. Two two oh one twenty five. What are you looking at? Oh, oh, now, yeah, but you gotta add the uh, the crate now. The two oh one twenty five. 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 Yes. Okay, you get two thirty two fifty, right? Mm -hmm. Two. Then uh, inventory on hand just get over because of the uh, uh, first in first out, so it'll be a new 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 thing. So it'll be a category two, so 125, uh, 1.61. Uh, one, no, uh, not not six one, one point eight six because you found the new number now. Yes. 
Yes. We found a new number now. This is including freight. Mm -hmm. So now okay. your new total. Uh-huh. 632. Uh, 50. Uh huh. Right. Good. All right, guys. It is. Um, uh, I'm gonna stop here. So what? What? What do I leave off of? So we finished this page. So we're gonna leave off of this page where we're going to um, deliver to the corner bookstore. Okay. So I'm gonna go and highlight that page, and um, yeah, and then we'll stop from here. All right, good job, guys, and have a good rest of your day, and hopefully we can get through all of it by tomorrow. I, the way that we're going, I don't think we will, but so tomorrow, expect there to be homework because I really want you guys to try to do the trial balance. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and take a nice uh, day off for the rest of the day. Have a good one, okay? <laughs>